Hey guys, Harv here with a an escape pod. <laughs> I I usually trying to think of an intro to say to kind of delay the video a bit before. Blah! This is the real reason for the video. But no, it's going to be a really short video today because it is literally just an escape pod. It's not particularly uh, convenient, and it's not particularly aerodynamic. So you know, getting it up into orbit is probably going to be a bit more of a hassle than the use it actually serves. But it is a fairly compact skate pod for what it is, and it's uh, pretty easy to use. Well, you know, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it is uh, simple. <laughs> if there's one good thing you can say about it, it's that it's simple. So, literally, it's... But, I mean, you need mech jeb to do it, because obviously controlling debris is mech jeb's uh, best feature. And you can see that my mech jeb is just put on the bottom of it. And yeah, so literally just detach it from the ship, get out, cling onto the ladder, and start burning retrograde. And it's as easy as that. Now the controls on the ship uh, get a bit hard. It, I mean, the ship gets a bit hard to control in general. Because if the Kerbal isn't central on the ladder, then you start tilting around. And if the Kerbal moves too much on the ladder, then you start spinning around. And of course, it's not a particularly pleasant ride for the Kerbal either. I spent this entire video worrying because obviously this is sped up now and I'm full, like I had to endure this at real time speed and it did not look any less hectic trust me there were moments when hands were literally coming off and he seemed to be clinging by his feet onto the ladder I'm thinking that maybe having another ladder I think you could probably squeeze two into that space but yeah I mean it does have the capability to land I'm not sure if it can lift its own weight but it can definitely slow down and if you're under 20 meters a second when you land, then you've survived. So anyway, if you liked the video, please do like the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So anyway, I've actually got a couple of things to say before I end the video. Uh, first of all, I did a live stream with AIMDK uh, last night, or yesterday. Uh, it was a Kerbal Space Program live stream, obviously, even though I'm in Minecraft right now. Uh, and it was really fun. Basically, he just wanted me to help him get to Minmus for the first time, and we did it. We succeeded. So that was successful, uh, and yeah, it was really fun. AIM, I've got something to say. <laughs> Sorry about just quitting Skype immediately after I said bye, because I watched the live stream again, and I heard the bye, thank you, oh, <laughs> he's already left. So yeah, that I kind of left you hanging there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and the second thing to say is that... I have another question. Last time I asked whether people preferred live commentary to after the fact, and the result was generally positive towards live commentary. Uh, the question today is, what do you think of Let's Plays? Because Let's Plays, I understand the very lazy content, because literally all you do is play the game and record yourself playing the game over some, you know, some potentially bad quality uh, audio and speaking with lots of ums and ahs, like I always do, but I can understand why people enjoy them. So, although this is generally, uh, this is and it will remain primarily a tutorial channel, if any of you want to see Let's Plays of any games, I'll probably uh, post some options and allow people to vote in the comments section below. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.